Christine Quinn, known for her appearance on the reality show Selling Sunset, is seeking full custody of her two-year-old son, Christian George, alleging that her estranged husband, Christian Richard de Montet, has abused their child. According to court documents obtained by Page Six, Quinn reported acts of domestic violence and child abuse to law enforcement, stating that she feared for their safety. Richard was arrested on March 19 after a domestic dispute with Quinn, during which he allegedly threw a bag containing a glass bottle that hit their toddler son. The child was taken to the hospital for treatment. Quinn claims that Richard has also failed to pay the hospital bills related to their son's birth, resulting in them going into collections and negatively affecting her credit. In addition to seeking full custody, Quinn wants the freedom to take their son to Texas, where her family resides, without needing permission from Richard. She also requests that Richard be restricted from any visits with their child due to the alleged abuse. Quinn recounts incidents of abuse throughout their marriage, including an incident where Richard allegedly threw dog poop at her. She further claims that Richard recently attempted to manipulate her and her legal team by falsely claiming that his mother had suffered a heart attack. Richard denies Quinn's allegations and has filed his own restraining order against her, accusing her of lying to the police. However, a judge temporarily denied his request while granting Quinn's restraining order. Quinn alleges that Richard has changed the codes of their Los Angeles residence, denying her access to her belongings and their son's belongings. Despite Quinn's accusations, Richard filed for divorce on April 5th, citing irreconcilable differences. He is seeking sole legal and physical custody of their son. Quinn, on the other hand, is seeking spousal support and does not want Richard to receive any alimony. Richard has not yet been criminally charged concerning his domestic violence arrest last month, but Page Six recently learned via the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office that the case is still under review.